This one is a GMAT 650 to 700 level problem solving question. It's an algebra question, quadratic equation. The core of what is tested in this question is your understanding about given a quadratic equation. How does one find out the sum and product of the roots? And how does that relate to the coefficients of the x term and the x square term and the constant term of the quadratic equation? Let's get started. We'll be solving this question in two ways. Once we apply this core idea, there are two ways to proceed. One, by actually listing down possibilities because we need to find out possible values for b. The second one is if you know a smattering of some number property concepts, we can use that and reduce the number of steps to get to the answer. We'll solve it in both ways in this particular video. Let's get started. x square plus bx plus 72 equals 0 has two distinct integer roots. Whenever any of this information is given, all these adjectives carry a lot of meaning. Keep it in mind. They're saying these roots are integers. They're saying these roots are distinct. Actually, without the information that they are integers, this question cannot be solved. What do we have to find out? We need to find out how many values are possible for b. What is b? b is the coefficient of x in this quadratic equation. The core of what we need to know is basically what is what are the sum and product of roots of a quadratic equation and how do they relate to the coefficient of these x square x and the constant term of this equation. For any quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equals 0, sum of its roots is equal to minus b by a. Let's say the roots are r1 and r2, then r1 plus r2 equals minus b by a. The product of the roots equals c by a, so r1 times r2 equals c by a. In this equation that we have, a is equal to 1 because the coefficient of x square is 1. The coefficient of x is b, so b is equal to b and the constant term c is equal to 72. So let's just plug in what these values would be. r1 plus r2 is a minus b by a, so that is minus b by 1 which is equal to minus b. So that is the value of the sum of the roots. Product of the roots r1 into r2 is equal to c by a, c is a 72, a is a 1, so 72 by 1, this is equal to 72 r1 plus r2 equals minus b. So what are we trying to find out? We are trying to find out values for b. So b will be equal to minus of r1 plus r2. So using the information that r1 into r2 is equal to 72, let's find out what all possible values r1 and r2 can take so that we get a product that is 72. From that we will be able to deduce what are all the possible values for r1 plus r2. The moment we get possible values for r1 plus r2, we will get possible values for b. So that's the approach we are going to be taking. Product of the roots we have already computed, that's equal to 72. Sum of the roots is equal to minus b. So b for us, the number of values that b takes will be the number of values that minus of r1 plus r2 can take. What all do we know? We know the roots are integers. So r1 and r2 are integers. They are distinct integers. And the product of those two integers is equal to 72. So all that is left in the first method, this is method 1, is finding out in how many ways can we express this 72 as a product of two integers, two distinct integers. Let's get started. Let's start with the one that is most obvious to us. R1 could be a 1, R2 could be a 72. So product is equal to 72, sum is a 73. We have written that B is equal to minus of R1 plus R2 in the last slide. So if r1 plus r2 is a 73, one value that b can take is a minus 73. It's more of the second possibility. We'll go over it systematically. 1 divide 72, so 1 into 72 is a 72. 2 divide 72, so 2 times 36 is another way of expressing the 72 as a product of two numbers. Sum becomes 38, so the value of b becomes minus 38. This is the second value. Will 3 divide it? Yes, 3 divides it. So 3 times 24 equals 72. 3 plus 24 is a 27, so the value of b is equal to minus 27. Does 4 divide 72? Yes, it does. So 4 times 18 equals 72. 4 plus 18, which is the value of R1 plus R2 equals 22. So B is equal to minus 22. Does 5 divide 72? No. 6 divide 72. So 6 times 12 equals 72. Sum is an 18. So B is equal to minus 18. 7 does not divide 72. 8 divide 72. 8 times 9 equals 72. 8 plus 9 is a 17. That gives us minus 17 as a possible value for B. The next number that divides 72 is a 9. We have already covered it. So once you have written it in a systematic way this way and written the corresponding second factor, once you reach the second factor on the right hand side column, you don't need to go any further. So in how many ways can we express R1 into R2 as a product, 72 as a product of two numbers, R1 into R2, can do it in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And correspondingly, these are the six values that B can take. But hold on. Product of two numbers is a positive value which is a 72. So if these two numbers, the product is equal to 72. It could happen for both R1 and R2 being positive. 
product of two positive numbers is positive product of two negative numbers is also positive so for each of these positive combinations you are taken there is a possible negative one too so r could be a minus 1 R1, R1 could be a minus 1, R2 could be a minus 72. The product still is a plus 72. The sum is going to be equal to minus 73. Therefore, the value of B will be equal to 73. So we found six values here. We'll find six values with the sign being positive here. We'll quickly write them down. So it's a 2, 36, which is a minus, uh, 30, minus 2, minus 36 as the roots. Sum is equal to minus 38. So the value of B will be equal to plus 38. Minus 3, minus 24 are the values of the root. Sum is equal to minus 27. So this is going to be equal to plus 27. I'm quickly going to complete this. Minus 4, minus 18. So this will be a plus 22. Minus 6, minus 12. So it's going to be a plus 18. And lastly, minus 8, minus 9. That's going to be equal to a plus 17. So there are six positive values that B can take and six negative values that B can take. So B can take a total of 12 values. Quickly summarize it in a printed form to round up the first method and then let's look at the second method too. So these are all the positive values that R1 and R2 can take and consequently these are all the negative values that B takes. These are all the negative values that R1 and R2 can take so that the product is a positive 72 and the corresponding values that B can take. 6 in this table, 6 in the second table adding up to a total of 12 possible values for B. Choice B is the correct answer, method 1 and done. To do the second method, we'll actually not be listing. We'll be using a little bit of number properties. The first concept in that is basically this. If a positive integer n has x factors, then the number of ways in which we can express n as a product of these two factors is x by 2. For example, let's say a number has got 10 factors. In how many ways can we express that number n as an a into b? We can do it in 10 by 2, which equals 5 ways. So the next step obviously is to find out what is this equivalent of 10. How many factors does this number have? In our case, we need to find out R1 into R2 equals 72. So trying to find out in how many ways can 72 be expressed as a product of two numbers. So we need to find out as a first step, how many factors, how many integer factors does 72 have? That's a two step process. In the first step, prime factorize 72. Prime factorizes as two cube into three square. The second step, Pick the powers, the exponents of each of these prime numbers. The exponent here is a 3, incremented by 1, so we will get 3 plus 1. The exponent here is a 2, incremented by 1, that makes it as 2 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is a 4, 2 plus 1 is a 3, 4 times 3, this equals 12, that gives us a number of factors. We have quite a lot of questions in the number properties question bank which deals with this idea and we even have videos on the YouTube channel as to why this method is working. For the time being, basically, how to find out the number of factors, prime factor is a given number, pick the exponents, the exponents are 3 and 2, increment each exponent by 1, each power by 1, so 3 becomes 3 plus 1, 2 becomes 2 plus 1, the product of these will give us a number of factors for 72. If the number has got x factors, it can be expressed as a product of two numbers in x by 2 ways. So if 72 has got 12 factors, it can be expressed as product of two numbers in 6 ways been mentioning product of two numbers, two numbers all the while. Let me make a distinction there. Product of two positive integers in 12 ways. Now, we know that for every 1 times 72, which is a 72, there is a minus 1 times minus 72, which is also a 72. So we have six ways where the two parts are positive. There will be six more ways where both the roots are negative. So 6 plus 12, that makes it a total of 12. So if you knew this idea about number of ways of expressing a number as a product of two factors, then the listing down that we did in the last method can be completely eliminated and you can get to this answer and probably this part of the answer in about 20 seconds. The first part of the answer where we deduce that b is equal to minus of r1 plus r2 is probably another 20 seconds. So this question, if you knew these two parts, should be a less than a minute question. Choice b is the correct answer. Before you leave, couple of things as always. One, sign up as a trial user if you still haven't at wzko.in slash core. Start with statistics and average. It's a very good topic to get started with your GMAT preparation. Understand the teaching methodology, the UI, UX, and then you can pay up and unlock the remaining topics. And two more things before you leave. One, subscribe to this channel. So you get notified about all new videos that we add. youtube.com slash visaco. There's one other thing that you can do. In addition to subscribing, you can join this channel as a member, which is different from subscribing. You'll be charged a small fee by YouTube every month to be a member of this channel. You can click on the join button in the channel's homepage, youtube.com slash visaco. There are certain member only perks, which are over and above what is, what is available free for everyone on this channel. If you click the join button, you'll get the list of those perks. 
they are of interest to you they are actually quite useful for anyone who is preparing for the gmat you can click on the join button and become a member best wishes for your gmat preparation